Next, I want to talk about um, a report I saw that was really interesting, and this was from CNBC. And this report is stating that um, 8,000 Model 3s are possible in the current uh, Tesla factory, 8,000 Model 3s per week. So uh, the, what they're saying is that, and these are the quotes from it, from Evercore ISI, they're saying, Tesla seems well on the way to achieving a steady production, a weekly production rate of 5,000 to 6,000 uh, units per week. The upbeat comments came uh, come amid a growing cloud for Tesla <laughs> chief executive Elon Musk, who recently tweeted that he would uh, be privatizing the electric automaker. So uh, as you know, I believe it was the end of Q2, they officially hit 5,000 Model 3s per week. And then with that, they also were producing 2000 model s and x now that is a large volume of vehicles for them um, i believe it was the ford ceo who was kind of uh, trolling elon there it said something like you know uh, uh you know twelve thousand cars produced last 12 hours or something like that um so anyways uh I wanted to see what would actually happen if we plugged in those numbers in terms of the production for this year and then the future years. So if you recall, I built this uh, Model 3 production ramp using a log growth curve. So this is a legit algorithm. I didn't just make this up. I didn't just pull these numbers out of the hat. Um, this is the model that Elon and everyone else says is how these things work, how the, how the actual growth of production in a factory or in their factory works. So I'm using the actual like you know statistical model here to forecast what they're doing now um, if you look the way this works is you punch in a couple dates and then the the algorithm takes over and can predict then you have to punch in the peak value the the, the top end of this right so what is the bottom what is the top so if we start with the first week of the year at 1000 vehicles which is what tesla reported and then we update this um the second one to um 7 1 2018 and whoop, let me punch that in 7 1 2018 and we upgrade that to the 5000 per week and we'll give them a, a little bit of a conservative estimate there oh no let's reset it want want and it broke see what happens when you start playing with numbers you start breaking things okay let's try this one more time if it doesn't work we will revisit it next time okay go there okay so the peak of eight thousand. this is the key thing when you punch that in you can see essentially where they're at so this this forecast if it you know if it if their production actually follows this in a, in a very smooth way which we know it won't do exactly it, it'll come close um you can see that essentially with when 2018 they're looking at 243 thousand model threes produced this is using the real data of 1000 a week starting in january and then 5000 a week at the end of q2 um and then you know the, the total there of 8000 i think it's more likely they'll see maybe 6000 and if you punch that in you can see that there's still about 200,000 model threes produced um, in 2018, uh, which is incredible. So, uh, you know, all signs point to this being a, a massive, uh, successful year for Tesla. So, you know, any, anyone out there that's, that's short on them, that doesn't understand this stuff. I mean, just look at the data. It kind of, kind of, you know, lays it out for you right there. So I'm curious what you guys think about that. Let, let, let me,